the Soros Regime, an exotic auto rifle, and a weapon mod that shares its name. What exactly does the weapon upgrade do, and is it overpowered? Guardians can choose one of three upgrades in two cases, as well as the two standard upgrades, but the confusing one, the Soros Regime upgrade, the bottom half of each magazine deals bonus damage and has a chance to return health when dealing damage is incredibly misleading as far as I can tell. The first selectable upgrade offers a trade-off between range and stability. Unlike most similar upgrades, these have no impact on the weapon's optics. And the third option, offering the highest stability, will sacrifice a small portion of damage. In the Crucible, it's a difference between 43 and 45 damage headshots. It's never enough in the Crucible to be a difference in time to kill, and probably usually not in the world against regular enemies, but against bosses, the overall DPS reduction might be something that you would consider taking off that smart drift control for. Given the lack of higher power optics, improving the weapon's range is a low priority for me. It's just too hard to use at distances where that actually matters. The focused fire upgrade slows the ADS rate of fire to 300 rounds per minute. In the Crucible, weapon damage is balanced around time to kill. So if you can hit all your shots, the improved stability from the slower rate of fire will be useful to you. It also means that the 33 round magazine lets you put out an enormous amount of damage without reloading. The first of the second set of selectable upgrades are high caliber rounds. The mass leaves targets reeling. This one's harder to describe, but I can tell you it'll stun lock bosses for days. The effects in PvP are hard to test and describe. My friend says it's something like slowing your movement speed down rather than view kick. I certainly feel like it's giving me an advantage in gunfights, but it's extremely hard to describe. However, if the mobility thing is true, well, melee super users, this thing's gonna be a problem, especially those pesky, pesky blade dancers. Think about it, they're trying to sprint at you, and you're knocking them back with every hit of this thing. The second two upgrade options are either an upgrade to range and stability, or increased agility. And finally, the Soros Regime upgrade. What does it mean when it says the bottom half of each mag does additional damage? Well, it's not really the bottom half, there's a slow ramp up in damage. It's more like the last four or five rounds do a little bit more. And this is more than the glass half full upgrade. The easiest way to describe it is the last four rounds do about six worth of damage. It encourages you to empty your magazine into a boss, but you're not going to be walking around with the last four or five rounds in a magazine just so you can get that extra damage. It's not worth it. But more importantly, what does it mean when it says returns health? This is seriously one of the potentially most overpowered things in the game. What's going on here? First, if you've been watching the clips, you'll notice there is nothing to do with being in the bottom half of the magazine. It doesn't really seem to matter. And the health return is fairly small, maybe less than a bullet worth of damage, but mostly it just triggers the health regeneration to start, which instead of waiting six seconds for your shields to start to come back, they'll just start to come back immediately, both health and shields. Very rarely will it swing the gunfight that I'm in at the moment, but what it will do when it actually happens is get me ready for the next gunfight so that I have more health and shields for the next one. But it's random. It only works some of the time. It's not reliable. I'm showing you the clips where I can tell something happened, and it's obvious you can see what it actually looks like. But don't get the impression that I walk away from every gunfight that I win with my shields and health regenerating, because that's not at all the case. For every time that it works, there are several that nothing happens. And in the middle of a gunfight, I might get a small amount of health back, but then some more damage comes in and immediately stops that health regeneration. I'm showing PvP clips because, at least to me, that seems when it happens more often, or at least makes a difference more often. When it triggers is not necessarily in the bottom half of the magazine. As I said earlier, maybe it's more likely, but it's hard to tell such things. What I can tell is that getting a kill is much more likely to start the regen. Not necessary, absolutely, but much more likely. For example, I put two whole magazines in Draxus earlier when you watched me stunlock him, and I didn't get any regen out of that. But if I walk around and kill half a dozen enemies, at some point I'll probably get the regen out of that. But in PvE, with all the splash damage and slow-moving enemy projectiles, it's really common that that regen will get cut short and therefore not be very useful. There are a variety of extra shield and health regeneration class abilities based on melee or special melee, but the Soros Regime is random, but still on a class of its own, being able to pick those up from range, mostly just with kills. 
guys. I hope this has been useful and informative, and I'll see you next time.